Market mayhem the whole week. Stocks taking a wild ride with chaotic swings and two 1,000-point drops this week. But how does this compare to past fluctuations in the market? Our next guest may have some insight. He, here now is Wall Street historian John Steele Gordon. Uh, John, let's go back to 1987. A lot of people, that was a historic day percentage-wise. 22% drop on October 19th. Uh, we haven't had a drop percentage-wise as big as that since. Uh, the day before that drop, the Treasury Secretary was talking down the dollar. The drop was on a Monday. On the Sunday talk shows, Jim Baker was then Treasury Secretary, talking down the dollar. A lot of people said that triggered the huge decline. Now, we had our current Treasury Secretary in Davos, Switzerland, a couple of weeks, weeks ago, talking down the dollar, or at least he was perceived to be doing that. He tried to pull it back and said he was misquoted. Could that have done anything to this week's and the previous week's problems? It certainly didn't help. Um, but whether it was the, the trigger or not, I mean, which particular straw broke the camel's back is the problem here. And, um, I mean, the, the market in 1987 had been going down since August, and then it was, and then it had a very bad day on Friday before the weekend. Then on the 19th, it, it just went totally out of bed. Uh, went down 22 percent, 600 points. Well, in both that case, 1987 and our current case, we have economies that are pretty strong. Uh, when you have a market, a, a strong market drop in, in the context of a pretty strong, good economic growth, uh, does that mean that it's not long-lived, this market drop? I, I'd be very surprised if it was, um, because, you know, the, the market will always sync with the underlying economy at some point. They can, they can div diverge for a while, like they did in 1929. Um, but, the, you know, if the economy is strong, the market is always going to be strong in the long term. And so, I, and the market, the economy is increasingly strong. Um, people are starting to call it things like robust. And um, so, I think this is a, a temporary fluke. And, um, and it's not just the U.S. economy we should emphasize. I mean, we, we have a tremendous advantage in terms of a tax cut, big corporate tax cut, a deregulation program that's spurring economic growth as well. But the world is benefiting from economic growth right now, too. So in this context of world economic growth, your guess is that this is short-lived, this, this market downturn. This will be very short-lived. Even in 1987, it went down 22 percent, and it was back up in a year and a half, back up to its previous high. In 1929, it took 25 years to get back up to the old high. And finally, I know you don't give market predictions necessarily, but if, in fact, this is going to be short-lived, one would assume that it would be a good time to get in right now. Yes, it would indeed. All right. <laughs> Words from John Steele Gordon, who's seen quite a lot in the stock market over the years. Good to see you, John. Thank good you. Good to be here. Thank here. you. Appreciate it.